The Secret Service prostitution scandal unfolds, courts may decide if chimpanzees are people, and a Jean Provocateur's latest lingerie collection promo is too steamy for YouTube, but not for us. Like an old-timey bearded lady in a circus sideshow, I'm going to let you look at my current events face for a small admission fee. Probably just a really fat guy wearing makeup and a dress news. First up, developments on the Secret Service prostitution scandal. If you recall, nearly two dozen Secret Service agents were disciplined or fired when it was learned that they had brought ladies of the night to their hotel in Cartagena, Colombia, just before Obama got there for a summit back in 2012. But it turns out a White House aide was also paying to make whoopee with a professional orgasm enabler. Which is the preferred term, I hear. Jonathan Datch, a 25-year-old Yale student and volunteer on the advanced White House team, was also involved. Specifically, his penis was deeply involved with a prostitute's hoo-ha and everyone lied about it to protect the 2012 election results. The White House press secretary released a statement today saying, Oh, that Jonathan Datch. Oh yeah, no, that guy sleeps with escorts all the time. Shit, his nickname is PayPal. Sorry for misunderstanding, that was another guy named Jonathan Datch. I don't know, he used to work for us. The Secret Service was in hot water again recently when they let a guy with a knife onto White House property and then let a guy with a gun into an elevator with President Obama. Not ideal. Their former director, Julia Pearson, even resigned over the snafu. In their defense, however, the Secret Service stated, Man, on both those counts, we just thought it was Diamond Daddy Slim with the party girls again. Easy mistake. Next up, a New York court might decide if chimpanzees are people. Yes, indeed, the Non-Human Rights Project wants a writ of habeas corpus to be issued to free a caged chimp named Tommy, who they say is being held against his will. Tommy is being held in solitary confinement, and the group says he should have the same rights as a person and be released into a sanctuary that more closely resembles his natural environment. Couldn't agree more. I've been saying this for years. Chimps can recognize faces, solve puzzles, and they can learn and retain sign language. It's remarkable. So why aren't they working? Yeah, why aren't they working? It's a good question. Tom, do you know sign language? No, you don't? Well, chimps do. Get it together, slacker. And it's about time, too. There are people with Down syndrome working at McDonald's. If that offends you, it shouldn't, because it's a fact. And those lovely people are competent workers. And someone's got to make the special sauce. My point? There is no excuse for a chimp to be unemployed in 2014. I worked a job I hated for 14 years. I can't wait for chimps to get an upgrade to human status. F them, f chimps. And you know what? I want to be the one to tell them too. Walk into the zoo one sunny morning. Mr. Coconuts, Bongo, Captain Chuckles, you want to come down from there? Yeah, gather around. Yeah, guess what guys? Time to put your poop down and your pants on. Yeah, oh, you didn't hear? Yeah, the free ride's over. No, you got to work now. Out you get, okay? There's the door. Don't let it hit you on the funny bum on your way out. Hit the bricks, hippie. Yeah, enjoy your ulcer. I'm telling you, the tide is about to turn. F chimps, f them. Good climbers though, really excellent climbers. Last up, luxury lingerie brand Agent Provocateur launches its autumn winter 2014 collection in an objectification heavy video entitled Le Salon or Le Salon. Set inside what we assume is a hedonistic gentleman's lounge slash pervert's lair, the film is replete with plush pink walls, leopard print chairs, silken cushions, and velvety curtains. It also has lots and lots of very pretty, very almost naked lady people in it. A minor detail. Here are some of those minor details right now. Oh man, look at that thing. Oh my god. It's like a gazelle in a porcelain doll designed by a Dutch scientist had a baby. Just remarkable. What? Right, right. <clears throat> the real kicker? YouTube banned the video. <laughs> what? Come on, that's ridiculous, YouTube. You show homeless guys fighting, open heart surgery, and Miley Cyrus twerking, which is how you pronounce it by the way, but not women selling underwear by wearing the underwear they're selling, it's madness. The world has no meaning. But it does have this video, so there's that. Okay, that's it for the dispatch. Share this video immediately, if not sooner, and tell someone with your mouth if you liked it. I'm Mark, and if you're good at something, never do it for free. I'm still looking for a benefactor who will pay me to be exceptionally hairy and cry aggressively in neighborhood parks. Mom always said, do what you love, and the money will come. Heads up, if you miss me between shows, you can follow me on Twitter, at MarkBullier1, right there. M-A-R-C-B-A-U-L-I-E, one. Right there, right in front of you. That's, that's the guy. Like, <laughs> can I call, can I talk to my mom? Like an old timey bearded lady in a circus shut. <laughs> Enunciate when your nose is blocked. Like an old timey bearded lady in a circus sideshow. <laughs> circus sideshow, circus sideshow. Guess what? Fuck, I fucked it up. Mr. Coconuts, Captain Bo <laughs> Mr. Coconuts, <laughs> don't let the door hit your way. Oh, it's tough. James will be all angry. <laughs> Collating.
things right in there. Yeah, I like I was fixing my pocket square and I aimed my burp cannon. I aimed my burp cannon into your ear hole. For that I apologize.